Welcome back to Sportsline. If you watch high school sports online, chances are you do it through IdahoSports.com. But come next football season, if you want to watch your favorite teams in championship matchups, that might not be an option. Joining me now is Matt Harris from IdahoSports.com. And Matt, you've been here before, so yeah. thank you again for coming. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, what exactly was the decision that the Idaho High School Activities Association made, and how long did it take them to come to this decision? Well, that decision that they made, it was started the process on January the 20th. The decision that the IHSA made was to finalize the webcasting and video streaming contract for the next three years. They chose in an eight to six vote to award that contract to the NFHS network. And what that means is now that the NFHS network owns the exclusive webcasting rights for all IHSAA sanctioned state tournament and championship events. The first reading on the contract took place back in January. The final reading was completed this past Wednesday. How did you find out that this was the new direction that they were going with? We had our company president, um, uh, Paul Kingsbury, and he's also our managing editor. He was at the board meeting himself on Wednesday. Did they give you a reason for this decision? Well, the reason given by the IHSA and the executive director, Ty Jones, was more along the lines of wanting to be able to keep their costs lower and not wanting to pass those costs on to the member schools, if at all possible. He said that this decision was something that the IHSA board did not take lightly and that it was a very difficult decision for them. As for the specifics of it, the bid submitted by the NFHS network offered them $45,000 per year for the first three years of the deal, with it expanding to $65,000 the next two years should the IHSA want to extend that contract. Our bid with IdahoSports.com offered $10,000 per year with an option to stream a true HD broadcast that could be purchased by viewers while still offering our standard, free definition, or standard definition free broadcast. Now, 60% of the money from those true HD broadcasts would be given back to the IHSAA. And the IHSAA has said that their costs are increasing from anywhere to eight, from 8 to 15% each year. And they felt that going with the NFHS network bid would help them better keep those costs low. Now, I know I've seen some of the reaction on Twitter. <laughs> what is some of the rea reaction that you've seen? Uh, well, just judging from Facebook and Twitter and the phone calls and the text messages and whatnot that I've received, uh, not a lot of people are happy with it whatsoever, just because they're so used to having those free broadcasts. And it's just, it's change, and that's part of it too. Having all that change is going to make, it's going to, I mean, anytime you have change, it's hard. And the reaction, I mean, that's the initial reaction. They'll probably get more of that reaction as we continue on. And you yourself have been covering these championship games for 11 years now. What went through your mind when you heard about this? Well, I was certainly disappointed. I don't think there's any doubt about that. You know, we've worked extremely hard at what we do, and we've done so many different things to be able to improve our product just even in the last 12 months. We've increased the size of our uh, streaming, of our viewing window. We've added instant replay. We've bu built in scoreboards into uh, the broadcast, that and a whole lot more. You know, we put a lot of time and hard work into this product, and so to say that if I, that if, if I didn't say I was disappointed, I'd be lying to you, absolutely. But, you know, we know that we just have to move on, we have to evolve, and everything's going to be okay. Awesome. Well, don't go anywhere because Matt Harris will still be here. 